guys i hate a long intro so i'm gonna jump right into it today my video today is about gardening i'm gonna show you how awful it looks we've not had rain down here in nashville at least not in my area here for about five weeks we had one day in five weeks of rain and everything is looking yellow and dried out and let's go look the hostas are doing okay here considering you know they're a shade loving plant you know they're actually doing pretty good here even with you know the lack of rain that we had and mostly sun that they get just a little bit of brown tipping i can't even be disappointed with that um my ombre cone flowers here they're i think just doing natural dye back i think they've been actually very very good for a drought resistant plant so far so i'm going to come in here though and deadhead all of these guys here let's go look at the black eyed susans now the problem with my black eyed susans is what's happening on the underside especially this one over here look at how black it is this one's not too bad and the one on the far end over here that they're, they're looking good um when you come up close all of them look really good at the roots though you can see the real strong leaves coming in even on this one that's falling back so I don't think that my plant's dead, but I think I'm chopping all of this down. I don't know whether or how much to chop down of these. I kind of want to just take them all down to the ground, though I hate to lose that little bit of color. These are my Autumn Joy Sedums. These I just planted this year. So they were in early bloom because they had been grown in the greenhouse. And so they've already kind of fallen back once. I'm gonna deadhead all of these here. You can see that we're already getting some new growth. You know, I'm really excited about that. So these guys have been a very excellent choice for the garden and so have the coneflowers. These ombre ones are doing excellent too. These, you know, I mean, look at how nice this guy's doing. I'm probably, and the more I look at these up close, I think I'm gonna just take a, down all of my coneflower flower types here and take them down and see what happens. My biggest performer though has been the salvias. These guys are just outstanding. They've been cut down. This is their third cut down. And if we come over here, we can see him getting a new bloom still. So, oh my God, for your drought people, drought garden people, definitely the sedums, definitely the salvia, definitely the cone flowers. On this side over here, this is the part that's actually doing the best. This is very pretty back here. I mean, look how beautiful, look how beautiful this is turning out. And that's my baby plant over there. And this is still, look at that, there's still one more daylily. I still have daylilies. Mexican petunias are standing tall and proud. So anyway, everything's looking good in this corner here. It's, it's very, it's a nice angle to walk up on. You don't really notice how bad this is. <laughs> ah, anyway, I'm going to grab my clippers and start cleaning this up. It looks a lot neater. It looks a lot neater. I mean, the sedums look gorgeous. The salvias are popping out. And I have found a couple blooms on some of the cone flowers. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I just felt in my heart that I had to cut this stuff back. So I don't know if I was jumping the gun or not, but I feel good for doing it. I feel good for getting it done. <laughs> 